when I was listening to Kanye, I'm like, man, like you're not really consistent with anything you're saying. Because at the same time that he's criticizing, oh, naming the first black this or the first black that, he's like criticizing that, right? Like, mm -hmm. which like, if you understand American history, you could understand why these things are in place and why people consider these like monumental achievements, because this was not even conceivable to certain, to certain like if you look at your grandmother is age like, group, they couldn't mm. ever imagine thing like uh, reaching this amount of success at this day. So that's why it, people appreciate it and they recognize it and they want to support uh, like their own community. And then at the same time, when he's criticizing them and all that, later on in the same interview, he goes like, "I opened up Donda, the first uh, school in West Chicago named after a black woman." Like, so now it's okay because it's with you, right? I feel like he's 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 he sort of keeps hyping people up towards like following what he's doing as if like he's the leader, and he's he's sort of like like denouncing everybody else right and mm -hmm. like i get his kind of mentality where he's saying like oh we should just like not complain and it's sort of like pull ourselves but kanye you as a privileged person yes don't complain you, because you have every uh, opportunity afforded to you but there are people kanye that socially and economically are set up for failure they have no escape they mm -hmm. cannot just like have a mentality change because even if they try to have a mentality change they're gonna have to go and deal with bad people in their neighborhoods they're gonna have to go and deal with corrupted cops that are trying to go up there um, about going at them with fed up school teachers that are underpaid that aren't going to put any effort into educating them with with, with parents in households that are really no, no, are, are impoverishing like no, but, 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 red even from what you're saying red trust exactly what you're saying Right. Why should a regular? How does a regular man connect with a guy who's worth eight billion? Did you read the comments? These people are all saying they're like, "Oh, look at him. He's so woke and he's so he's so understand." I'm like, did, did you guys listen to what he said? He literally said, "No, no, no." Talking about homeless. Well, since One second, because this pissed me off. This is what I'm like. I'm like, bro, this guy is is dumb as bricks. Like, this guy cannot be. Like, how are people listening to him? Because he literally said, like, he was like, "I'm homeless. I'm homeless." Kanye, you are not homeless. You have infinite amount of wealth. You just don't need a home. You're so rich that you don't need a home. <laughs> and on top of that, he was like, he was like, we have a homeless problem in America, but we can't solve that because that's kind of dictatorship. Uh, he, what did he say? What did he say? He was like, he was like, he was like, some people are homeless by choice. And I'm like, what? What are you talking about? What are you? How can you see? This is somebody that's detached from regular society. Yeah, this is somebody that's literally no, 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 but, 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 right. the, the issue is what you just said. The comments. So, right. My problem is for people. In America, specifically African Americans, it is dangerous to have him as your so-called leader. He is a bad example to follow. Why is it a bad example to follow? Is because, at one hand, there's this dude that said to George Bush that that, that, that said George Bush doesn't like black people. Go on the other Kanye. hand, on the other hand, what, so sorry, say, go to Kanye. That was that was Kanye at his peak. Yeah, but red. Then how does you now explain hugging Trump? And wearing a red hat. Oh, that was just. But he's he's not cool then because he doesn't have the red. Hat. Like, no, no, no. It's see because right here's the thing. Malcolm X never made any mistakes like 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 that. Most of the looking see they may have had some mistakes, but Malcolm X most of the looking never made any Malcolm mistakes. Malcolm X like put him in the same conversation as Kanye. No, no, no. But, Malcolm but, but, X but, but, is a man that put everything on the line. But see, for red, his people like he, here's he, his, he, yeah. Go ahead, go ahead. The thing here is, and the, and this 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 this, 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 this is a quote. Leaders are born, they are not made. So just think about that. Mm -hmm. think about that. That's such a little nugget that H just put in. Leaders are born, they are not made. Kanye has been made a leader. He wasn't born a leader because his early days is a guy trying to get on. Like Jimmy Fox told the story about how this kid with his big John, everything was playing him a few beats and everything because he wanted to get on. So for most of his life is, I'm trying to get on. Oh, I'm not making beats for Jay-Z. Oh, I can, um, I'm Dame Dash can realize that I can also rap as well. Oh, geez, the, the producer can rap. Oh, boom. Hey, let me do my album. Oh, boom. You know, music. so that's the thing. From the early days and so forth, either whether it's Martin Luther King or Malcolm X, you can see that no, these guys, they're already on the footsteps of becoming leaders. Because their community needed their community, which has been mentally raped and psychologically raped, needed leadership and needed guidance, which is what they provided. Tupac, that's a leader. That was that was a leader, that was a leader, that was a guy that was born a leader. You could you could just tell because he was just, born a leader. Here's the thing, here's the thing. Is it Kanye was born into privilege? 
Don't get him as consumed. Kanye was. Did you not hear in the interview where he said like, "Oh, I would go to my father's uh, house." Oh yeah, in because Maryland. his mother was was an educator on, on, on social yeah, media. His, yeah, he'd go up to his father's house in Maryland, and he had the Jays, and then he was wearing like the steel toes and whatever. And then like uh, the, the the prep kids, the white kids, there told him, "No, we don't wear that. We wear polos." So he went and jacked their fashion choice, took it back to Chicago, and started claiming it. No, no, own, no, 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 wait, 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 no, no. See, this thing, thing because I'm sure this thing just really annoys me. <laughs> this just pisses me off here. Anytime Tupac was interviewed, what Tupac talking about? The poor, the poor. How the poor are that? Michael Jackson, why do you have this much money? Look about the poor. Look at where we're living in right now. Blah, blah. I'm just a, a thought, man. This is, I'm just a product of my environment. Blah, blah, blah. Red, what does Kanye spend his time talking about? Nothing. Oh, no, 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 no. Something. I'll tell you what he's so talking about. Mm. Oh, um... Um, what's the name, name, name of that? Um, Virgil Abloh. He got my fashion job. Oh, Gucci doesn't want to talk to, to me. Oh, Nike doesn't want to talk to me. Hey, Adidas doesn't want to, want to talk to me. It's you're just having first world problems. So, Red, can you see the, the, the not the, even the first difference? world problems? The first top one zero point zero one so, percent problems. First top point one percent. So, Tupac is talking about the poor, about the thugs, about the hood, living in the hood, representing the people. Another guy is spouting about how, oh my gosh, nobody wants me in the fashion world and so forth. Oh my gosh, um, like, um, I, f I felt insulted when, you know, they did not really ap appreciate, you know, the gifts that I, I gave them in fashion. You know, I I'm not a, I'm not a hip artist anymore. I'm, I want to be, I'm the black Michelangelo. I'm the black Steve Jobs. I'm like, do you make, Fred, can you listen to the complete stupidity and trash that is coming out of this guy's mouth? But Red, you know what's the sad? We are in a very small, minor percent that actually see that what the guy is saying is complete nonsense and trash and red what's the worst that right just let me ask you let me, maybe you don't just help me understand that how do people look at that and say that man is a genius i'll tell you why first of all stay in culture people look at the music and they worship him because of that music second kanye uses an effective technique that i like to call the god card you know what i mean where every time he's talking something, he rounds it up by saying, and God spoke to me and let me know. And like he brings in spirituality. Now, when you do that, it's a very, very effective technique because all the people who are religious will connect, relate to you on Which that Which are level. mostly African-Americans. Yeah. Like the thing no, is no, a no, lot no, of people... No, like, no, no, no. Red don't say yet. <laughs> Red. No, no, you're right. You're right. You're no, right. Be, 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 because Red. <laughs> Red. Do Not we, just African Americans, they teach Africans as well. Like, like people across the globe, like everybody that that, that who is really the thing is, is the God card is very powerful because it transcends mm. race. Because it transcends because even if you're a white guy that's Christian, right? Or you're you're an Arab that's Christian, or anybody that's Christian, that like, if you watch that, right, and you somebody uses God, you're gonna be like, you know what? I like that. He's not looking to materialism, it's all about okay, God. Okay, for okay, him. okay, 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 Red. Let me but ask you. Let me ask you. What he's very saying is dangerous because one second, because what he's saying is dangerous for me is because. He can afford to say this shit because he has the an money, an insane amount of money. Exactly where he doesn't have to worry. But for you, as a regular human being, you can't think like that. That's that's literally it's it's you cannot think like that because that is not a way for you to live. That is not something that you can actually comprehend. Like you cannot. That's just a way for you to keep you poor, to keep you like con content with the, the the trash that you're living in. And don't get me wrong, I'm I'm not saying I'm trying to insult people's lives, but oh, I'm no, no, saying, no, like, no, but no, 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 but no, it's really, but especially right. Here's the thing, though, because. It's similar to the issue that... Do you, do you remember that Dame Dash interview on Breakfast Club? Yep, iconic. Charity Pat. Huge. One of the best interviews I've watched about three, four times. Mm -hmm. What Dame said is right and wrong. What it, The general themes of what he's saying is right. Generally. In, a, in, in like broad strokes. But at the same time, Dame, you just happened to align with Biggs. You and Biggs just happened to find the greatest rapper of all time. That is exceedingly fortuitous. Mm -hmm. Because, Dame, if you didn't align with Biggs and Jay-Z, you will not... Who knows where your life I would mean, have luck, been. I mean, luck luck pays off way more than hard work. Yeah. So, luck. So, 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 Dame, this advice that you're giving to the regular guy who is not going to meet a Jay-Z, who isn't going to meet a Biggs, who doesn't have the time to be an amazing rapper or singer. This, that kind of advice, 
uh, it shouldn't really erase. The general advice is right that try to look outside of your 95. Try to look beyond your work and so forth. But at the same time, if you know that you can't do it, bro, keep that 995 and be realistic. Because Red, 99% of people can't not do a 9 to 5. Yeah. That's not realistic. <laughs> okay, yeah. That's just not realistic. So, so, Kanye West, Kanye, you are a multi, multi-billionaire that lives in a bubble. You live in a bubble. What advice can you truly have for the regular man who will never be able to make beats as good as you so therefore, we'll never be in, in the position that you're now in. Because Kanye, you are in this position solely because of your talent. Mm. 